guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it is Shimmy Shay, and today I am here with... Scotty! I know, it's kind of getting a regular thing, aren't we? I know! <laughs> Everyone already knows I post daily, so now they just, like, expect me to post. Which is fine, because I like posting daily. Oh! Gives me something to look forward to every day. Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> My wall's really sharp. Um, also... Thank you guys for 9k. I did not expect to get 9k so fast or like ever. So thank you guys for that. Now on to the real topic of the video. Story time. Story time. You guys requested that we do more of them. We have a lot of crazy stories because we've been through a lot of crazy things. Um, so once upon a time. <laughs> Scotty and I went to this school called Dumb High School. <laughs> we'll just go from there, yeah. Um, we have the same sign language class our junior year. Mm -hmm. And it was a great class, 10 out of 10. But some of the students were... Uh... They weren't 10 out of 10. <laughs> they were like 3 out of 10. I'm talking to you. Negative. 3 out of 10. Negative 300 out of 10. Remember the time that they sprayed fart spraying? <laughs> that would be why the negative. Yeah. Anyways, we're not talking about the fart spray today. We're talking about the time they tricked our school counselor into thinking they were a substitute teacher. And they're younger than us. Well, the girl. Yeah, how did she get away? <laughs> I don't know. So, once upon a time, we went to this class, and for some reason, this teacher had a reoccurring problem where every year she got a substitute, and for some reason, once every year, it was always her sixth period class, the once. substitute just wouldn't show up. And I happened to be in her sixth period class every year that I was in her class, so I know this happened yearly. However, this time around, instead of telling the office that there was no substitute, as the class should, they said, let's just do class ourselves, guys. They erased... Yep, they erased the board. Yeah, they erased the entire board. And put a student's last name up there with the word Miss. So two students went up. We are going to call these students um, Emily and Ryan for the sake of needing names that aren't their real names so emily put her last name on the board well ryan put emily's last name on the board let's be specific emily didn't volunteer for this and he said that they were the teachers which really meant that he was gonna lead and just push it onto her if they got caught that's what the code was so then he's like yep. let's play hangman and he draws the hangman thing and i remember this exact moment because i was like are you truly this dumb and he goes okay someone give me a word I remember that. And then but I mean, at this point, I was just done going, hmm, I'm going to actually do our assignment for today. Yeah. We were doing the assignment because we were like, oh, we're not going to trouble. La, la, la. So then he points to, let's call her Maggie for the sake of needing another name. And then Maggie's like, uh, aren't you like, you know, supposed to make up the word and we guess it? And he's like, oh, right. This game is dumb. And he races Hangman. And I was like, how do you forget how to play Hangman? You don't. Well, if you're Ryan. Mm. So, then he says that we should play Heads Up, 7-Up. In a class full of a bunch of immature people, we should turn off the lights, in his opinion. Mm -hmm. The second that they turned off the lights, there was, like, a bunch of yelling and, like, you remember the crashing in, like, the back corner? Yeah, because somebody knocked over um, the teacher's, um... Yeah stand-up person of, was it George Washington? Yeah, it was George Washington. They knocked over George Washington. Who had a, who had a beach hat on his head? They're like, George Washington, bye! Anyways, we mm. had to turn back the, turn on the lights again, and at this point, I was done. And I turned to Scotty. At this point, there was no more George. And I was like, Scotty, we gotta tell. But I, I didn't say it. I was texting her because I was like, if I say something, they're gonna know I'm snitching. Yeah. And you know how it is. Whenever the loud person leaves the room, nobody notices. Whenever the quiet person leaves the room, everybody notices. She's the quiet person. I'm the loud person. So 
was like, you have to come with me. And she's like, no, they're going to know I'm gone. And I was just like, they're going to know I'm gone because I literally will stand on a table and start yelling, dance with me. Don't be a pansy. I don't say that word. Pansy? I'm kidding. That's what my ninth grade language arts teacher told me. With pansy. Maybe he's a pansy. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. Yeah! <laughs> but not Pansy Parkinson. She's pretty cool. Anyway, back to the story. Anyways, so I get up and I am like nervous and I make a really big scene out of leaving too. I pretend to answer the phone and I was like, how many times have I told you to not call me? Oh, fine, I'll take this one call, but then not again. And I storm out of the classroom, making them think that I'm on a call. But nobody even noticed. Not a single person. But then, so then I go to the office. Maggie? Yeah, Maggie. Maggie storms out of the room. <laughs> yes. And Maggie. Ryan runs after her going, you son of a... Some choice words. <laughs> no, no words. <laughs> so, and, um... So I went to the office and I was like, yo, just to tell you guys, um, we don't have a substitute and the students are taking over and they are wild in there. And they're like, oh, is this true? And I'm like, yeah, like don't tell them that I said it because I don't want them to go crazy on me. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you a counselor to come with you. That way he can examine the situation. So he comes in to the classroom with me. We walk in together. Together. You can continue from this part. He goes, hey, I heard you guys don't have a substitute today. And the Emily goes, that's not true. I'm the substitute. Obviously not. He goes, oh, okay. I just heard you haven't had a substitute. He turns and he leaves. Wait, no, no. Because he's like, is this true? And they looked at everyone. And everyone's like... Yep, it's true. And then there's me Everyone and Scotty. Me. me and Scotty are like... Because we're responsible people. Yeah. So then he leaves. And then a girl is like, Yo, someone just texted me that someone snitched at the office. And then Ryan goes, oh, It was Maggie. Maggie. And everyone was like, Maggie, how could she? And then they're all like, now none of you guys can tell our actual teacher what just happened because you all agreed. Can we both tell our teacher? <laughs> yeah. We were like, yo, we need to tell you what Ryan and Emily did. And then the next day, the teacher goes, and some of you need to speak up because you're good students and she looked right at me so i went up to her after class and i talked to her and said i'm sorry i'm just kind of scared of ryan because i'm pretty sure he is like involved in a gang or something ryan <laughs> once was like i know where you live because i followed you home and i was like yeah, okay ryan was a pretty scary dude ryan scares me that's really funny, because in one of my books, Ryan is, like, one of the main antagonists. Like, that's the actual name of the antagonist. Does he act like Ryan? No, they act nothing like... Oh, that's good. Well, there's another character who has Ryan's actual name in the same book. Which is oh. even funnier. Oh, yeah. And he's, the, like, the protagonist, isn't he? Dress wedding ring? The person. Oh, yeah, because I wanted to tell the story from an, an antagonist's point of view. So, yes, he's the protagonist, but he's also not the protagonist. You know the antagonist can be the main character, right? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the entire point of the story is to show, like, hey, even though this is from an antagonist's point of view, you still felt like I get what you're guy. saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Anyways, yeah, um, they literally tricked our counselor into thinking that they're a substitute teacher. We finally got one because... Shay went back. I was like, they just twice in one day. All of you. She, she told them like, oh, um, well, he said it didn't happen, and we're like, yeah, they lied. Um, and so we got a substitute for the last twenty minutes of class, and the guy sat by the door, 
so we couldn't leave. It was oh pretty awesome. Do you remember what your brother said a few days later when you were talking about it? Maggie did it. And then Scotty was like, Shay literally walked in with, with the, the counselor. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, and we made him swear never to tell. I think he forgot about that. screams do you remember the time i snitched on the class uh good times, good times. Oh, pretty funny pretty funny anyways she's british <laughs> thank you guys for watching i hope you have an amazing day <laughs> i just said an amazing yeah day. i heard i think they heard too <laughs> An amazing day, and once again, thank you all for 9K. Go check out her channel. It will be in the description as well as my other I'll social I'll try videos. and post a new video. I'm sorry. I'm bad at that. Yeah, unlike I'm, some I'm people, busy. she doesn't post every day. I'm busy. I'm busy, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but signing videos take a lot more time than... Than me saying, cleaning half of my room, LOL. Yeah. I actually have to practice my signs for the song and make sure I got it on tempo. You right, Kale. I kind of want to do another karaoke video soon, but then like, mm. yeah, you won't you won't see me doing that. Yeah, I'm not really good at singing, but I like it and it's fun. I think she screws. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Much love. Well, thank you for all the support. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> and as always. Happy birthday.